We want to write the standard form of a circle with the given conditions, and then we also want to graph the circle. So in order to do this, we first have to know what the standard form equation of a circle is. So that is x minus h squared, y minus k squared equals r squared. The information that's provided for us is h, we have a k there, so the x coordinate is always h, the y coordinate of the center is always k, the radius is always going to be your r. We're going to substitute the information into this formula. So I have x minus negative 2 squared, y minus 3 squared, and that's going to equal 4 squared. Now we just want to simplify it. x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is going to equal 16, and this would be the standard form equation for part A. Now let's take a look at the graph. Now when you do the graph, you don't need to worry about making tables. You don't need to use this equation at all. We're actually just going to use the information originally given to us. We're just going to use the center and the radius to draw the graph. First thing you're going to do for making the graph is you want to go to the center, negative 2, 3. So we go this way, 1, 2, and we're going to go up 3. So right there, that's going to be your center. Now the radius is 4, which means that the, that's the distance from the center to any point on the outside of a circle. So in order to draw a circle, I want to get a couple reference points so that way I can connect them and make the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up four units because that's the radius. I'm going to go up four, I'm going to go down four, I'm going to go to the left four, and I'm going to go to the right four. So I go one, two, three, four here, and that would be my four reference points. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect all of them and this is going to create the circle. Now you don't have to worry about where it crosses the x-axis. I'm not looking for that type of detail uh, on, the, on the test itself. I'm just looking for if you know what the general sketch of the graph looks like and that would be this one here. So again the distance from here here, up and down, that's all going to be 4. That's your radius. Okay, now, now we're going to go on to part B. Now this one, they give you H, K, and R. And so we're going to put those into the same formula, the, the uh, standard form equation. So we're going to do X minus 5, Y minus 1, and that's going to equal 3 squared. You can either leave your answer as 3 squared or if you want to change it to 9, that's also okay. So now let's take a look at the graph of this one. So again, we're going to start by plotting the center. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 1. And then the radius is 3, so we're going to go up, down, left, and right, 3. So go up 3 units, make a dot, down 3 units, make a dot, go to the left 3, to the right 3, and then now we have our four points that we're going to connect here. We're going to make our circle.